our security systems, our, our intelligence and security agencies uh, flagged problems at the Winnipeg labs uh, that were followed up on. We know as a country that increasingly uh, countries like China and others are trying to either uh, influence uh, or uh, get secrets out of our country. And that's why we have to continue to be extraordinarily vigilant about how we're uh, making sure we're doing everything necessary to keep people safe, to keep our research institutions safe. As a government, we've taken many, many initiatives, and I've uh, tasked our National Security and Intelligence Advisor uh, to look uh, even deeper at this Winnipeg's lab situation and make recommendations on how we can move forward appropriately. Uh, this is uh, something that people would expect governments to take seriously and expect all parliamentarians to take seriously. Unfortunately, Throughout this process, we have seen the Conservative Party, specifically Pierre Polyev, choosing to spew conspiracy theories and drum up political attacks, partisan attacks, on an issue that quite frankly should be bringing Canadians and parliamentarians together to try and solve this. Quickness with which they're looking for partisan advantage is not just undermining Canadians' trust in the system, but interfering with the ability of Parliament to deal with this. One of the reasons it has taken so long to get this report into Parliament is because of the choice that Conservatives made to try and extract any amount of political advantage by drumming up a, a level of, of partisanship and toxicity that is not serving Canadians. There's lots of opportunity to have responsible political debates about how we're moving forward as a country and what needs to be fixed, what's being done well, what needs to be done better. Absolutely. That's part of the give and take in our democracy. But the choice to weaponize national security in a way that is rife with conspiracy theories uh, and partisan attacks is a choice that I don't think is worthy of the kind of responsible leadership that Canadians deserve. I will also add that uh, hearing uh, two particular Conservative members, Michael Chong and James Bazan, suddenly uh, being uh, front and centre on issues of security and international impact after having been complete ghosts over the past number of months on anything to do with standing up for Ukraine, for example, or even on the matter of uh, their colleague Les than Lewis calling for uh, a withdrawal from the United Nations of, the, of, of Canada, um, they won't say a thing. But when it comes to making partisan attacks out of an issue that should uh, be se taken seriously by all par uh, parliamentarians, it's not worthy of an official opposition.